You can't trust the CEO, you can't trust the company, and you can't trust a, a custodian. And if anything, uh, all of the Bitcoin memes have come back to life, not your keys, not your coins. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new Trust Wallet extension. So this goes for your PC browser. It's a brand new feature, and this is gonna protect your coins and keep them in your own custody. So you may have heard the phrase, not your keys, not your crypto. Well, we're gonna move some funds from Binance, a centralized exchange, over to the new Trust Wallet extension. And so moving some funds from a place where I don't own the keys to a place where I do own the keys. This is an example of utilizing a hot wallet. There are both hot wallets and cold wallets. Hot wallets are less secure than any wallets that are connected to the internet. Whilst the cold wallet, like a ledger device, is a hardware device that keeps your data offline. That would be the more secure route. And this Trust Wallet browser extension will have compatibility with Ledger very soon. As soon as that happens, I'll do an update video to show you how to utilize that. So starting here, we're looking at Trust Wallet. You may have seen that the Trust Wallet token itself has been doing very well. A lot of people flocking to utilize Trust Wallet, maybe on mobile or maybe on this new extension. So what we're gonna do is first go to their website, trustwallet.com. And you can see under this new section, a new browser extension is available. So this is your multi-chain crypto wallet available in browser. And if we just scroll down, we can see some of the features here. They say a multi-chain wallet. It's mainly EVM compatible plus Solana here. This means that any Ethereum based chain, so ETH, Avalanche, Polygon, BNB chain, they're all compatible with this wallet plus the addition of Solana here as well. So this is going to allow us to safely store, send and receive our favorite cryptocurrencies plus do a few other things as well. We can have a little look at that. And if you're already using the Trust Wallet for mobile, you can import your private keys from there directly into this extension and utilize it on your PC as well. And there we can see Ledger integration coming soon. So this is making Trust Wallet a direct competitor with MetaMask, really going for the market share here. And this extension is compatible with the following browsers you can see on here. So on the website, you're gonna see this button, Get Trust Wallet. We're gonna click that and press Get Extension. Once you've downloaded the extension, you wanna pin it to the extension bar at the top here. You can see my Trust Wallet icon, very small in the top right-hand corner. Just give it a little click and you'll have this page. So we've got two options in front of us, creating a brand new wallet, which is what we're gonna do here, or you can import or recover a previously used wallet, i.e. your mobile wallet, if you want use of that on your PC as well. We're gonna click this button, create a new fresh one. They're also gonna request if we want to allow them to see what we're kind of doing here, sharing usage patterns, kind of things that I don't really like, especially when utilizing cryptocurrency. I specifically go out of my way to ensure I'm not being tracked online. I utilize a Surfshark VPN. You may wanna download one of these if you haven't done so already. So I'm gonna click the no thanks setting down here to preserve some privacy. And then we go about setting a password to get into this wallet. So create something memorable, write it down on a piece of paper, double check it, write it down for a second time, and then you have to tick the T's and C's, and then we can press proceed. Now on this second page, they're gonna show us a set of secret seed phrases. This is gonna be 12 words you need to write down and do not store these digitally. These are your keys. These are your private keys to the kingdom. So if you've got any cryptocurrency on this wallet and someone else has these 12 words, they could set up a brand new account, tap in those 12 words in the exact sequence they're given to us on the next page, and they would be able to access your wallet. This is since cryptocurrency is not physically stored on these devices, but what we have is the access keys here to interact with our cryptocurrency on the blockchain within which it resides. So make sure no one is watching. I'm not gonna show you the next page. We're gonna skip across, but get those 12 words written down. Now, what we can see from this page is this. Congratulations, your wallet has been created. Now, this is automatically ticked for us. Now, this wants to set the Trust Wallet as our automatic default wallet. So, for example, when you go onto Uniswap and you want to make a trade, typically when you connect your wallet, you get MetaMask to pop up if you're a MetaMask user. If you tick this, this means Trust Wallet will start popping up first. So, personally, I'm going to leave that unticked. And there's also a reminder down here to pin it to your extension bar. If you click on open wallet, we can then see some stuff. There's a bit of a tips page here, just letting you know some of the things that you can do with this, utilizing some dApps and managing some various tokens. So we have two options for a view here. We have the wallet directly open here on a web page, or you can open it from the little dApp icon 
in your extension as well. It shows you the exact same things, but on a smaller scale. We're going to stick to this for this tutorial. We're going to go to settings, and this is where you can select the network you're currently on. Maybe you want to change that to Polygon or Binance's Smart Chain. Then that will toggle over if you make any amendments. We can also see our secret phrase from here, maybe if you didn't write it down correctly, or if you want to go ahead and import this wallet into a different computer or onto a different mobile device, you can do that as well, utilizing those 12 words. And you can also see the lock feature down the bottom. So if we lock this wallet, we now need our password to get back in. So I'm going to show you how to withdraw some funds from an exchange here over to the trust wallet to ensure we have our keys, our coins ourselves. So in this example, we're going to put some BNB tokens on to this wallet. So if I click on this and then press receive, this is my BNB wallet receiving address. I can copy it from here or I could scan the QR code. Then over on my Binance account, I need to set this address up as a whitelisted withdrawal address. So for that, I go to security and then scroll myself down and to crypto withdrawals and address management. From here, we can add a brand new address and I'm going to tag this as trust extension, select the coin B and B, and then paste that address from my trust wallet directly in here, control and V. So select the network. This is where you need to choose BSC. It's a BEP20 token. This is the typical Binance chain standard of tokens. And then on address origin, it will be from a wallet address. On the drop down, they neatly have Trust Wallet on here. Trust Wallet is actually owned by Binance and has somewhere in the region of 50 million downloads. So I'll whitelist this address and then confirm it with the gold button at the bottom. Now the address is whitelisted. I'm going over to the withdraw tab, selecting BNB token, and my wallet that I've tagged Trust Extension is now in here. You can see the address down there. OXA and ends in BD. And we can quickly just double check that did copy across correctly. Just click on the trust wallet up here, BNB smart chain receive, and the wallet is OXA ends in BD. So all good. I'll then go ahead and withdraw those funds and complete some security steps. Now that withdrawal is processing. You can scroll to the bottom of the page and see that it is processing down here and it needs 15 confirmations to go through. I can also check for the transaction directly on the blockchain. I'll copy the address here and go to BSC scan, paste my address in there, and then we're going to have a little look at it. And there we have it. We can see that it has actually made the transfer here from Binance's hot wallet directly to my personal wallet. Then on the trust wallet tab, you can also see that I have received some. Those are the funds around 20 bucks worth. And this is also reflected in the small Chrome extension tab as well up here. So funds moved from centralized exchange to my own hot wallet, ensuring that I do protect my bags. Then maybe at a later date, if you want to send these funds back to an exchange to cash out, you just do the opposite of this whole process. You would then be going to send on the wallet, going back to your Binance account page, finding the BNB token and clicking on the deposit. It will then give you an address to send the funds to. Then you would simply paste them in here and say how much you want to send across. Very simple stuff. Now, another popular question is how do I get one of these smaller altcoins directly onto my trust wallet or other wallets. So let's find a random altcoin on here. And if I want to send this to my BNB wallet on trust wallet here, I need to get the contract address. So that is just up here, the contract address. You can see BNB is the icon here. I can click copy, go into the wallet, then click on this icon, manage tokens, and then paste that contract address in there. There you can see Baby Doge on Binance's smart chain is now accessible. And if I toggle this across and press add custom token, go back to my overview and you can see Baby Doge is now there. So a simple tutorial on how to move funds from an exchange to the new Trust Wallet extension. It's a very similar process if you have the Trust Wallet on your mobile, but if you do want a further tutorial on the mobile wallet itself, drop me a comment down below and I'll see what I can do but I hope you found this one informative, useful. If you did, drop me a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.